Hello and welcome back. Uh, this is a video on uh, KeyPass password manager and file manager. Um, you've seen a lot of videos on, um, and I've made a video on KeyPass password manager. But apart from managing passwords for websites and on logins uh, and what have you, um, this video is about how it also uh, manages files. Uh, so if you've got a credit card, uh, any attachment like that, word document that's important, or passport, or uh, identity card or oyster card that you want to attach uh, you can select it and attach it into the database uh, with that account or separately uh, etc so if you select feature list in on the official website and then uh, the it lists all these features and one of them is time fields and entry attachments and here it mentions you can attach files to password entries uh, useful to store PGP for signatures files etc as an example. Now uh, let's go and uh, start doing that. Uh, I've created a test database uh, in version 2. Uh, you can see that's version 2 and I've got two entries added as accounts so you can add it from there as an entry and this is to do with file attachments okay so you can manage you, you can put you can double click on that and add your username password for a website uh, but to add a file, you can either add it here by selecting uh, tools and then URL sl field select document. From here, you can then select your file, um, say for example this document, right, and and save it. Now, if you if you notice in the uh, notes, it's got um, the um, file c uh, visible there, and you can double click on it. Um, and um, sorry, right click on it, and it, it's got uh, the file attached, and you can open it from there. You can then also save the attached files to your computer if you wish, uh, or, or any folder that you want to uh, take from there. And um, and also uh, you can open it from here, or by selecting it from the other um, from the notes below. So let's open it and it'll open the file. Okay, this is what it looks like. Now I'm going to close this and I'll show you, uh, come back to this in a minute. Close that. Uh, but we're not going to do it like that. So I'm going to edit the entry, get rid of this uh, URL because this, this is really for web addresses, uh, ideally for a um, password management bit. But if you've got this account for uh, a web address and then you want to also attach, uh, like a, say you're going to a uh, uh, bank account uh, and this Barclay card and you've got the Barclay card web address there and you want to also attach the credit card this is how you do it so you click select the advanced tab key you notice you s it says file attachments and I've got one attached there and you select it from here okay and obviously bear in mind the more attachments you have in the database it'll grow uh, but not by a lot, uh, so you can carry it with you, but it's it's uh, it's not that much, but obviously it'll be much less when you don't have the attachments, so bear that in mind. Now, uh, to attach a uh, file, you can select this, attach file, and then you can select, I don't know, um, uh, let's do squirrel, okay. So I've got two pictures there. You can have a Word document. You can have anything in there. So we'll 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 go through them in a minute. Once you've selected them, you can open the file from here if you want to view it. Uh, delete it uh, and save it to your local machine if you already had it there. But you can't save it in the database until you click OK. So you've attached it. Click OK. Save the database, and it's saved. Now if you right-click on it can save the attachment to your machine, uh, select it from there, or select it from the notes, from the notes here, can you see the links, so say uh, click on squirrel, and there it is, now you think, oh that's small, I want to look at it, uh, enlarge it, so you obviously maximize the window, and it's the original size, fantastic, I'm going to minimize the window, and it's back there again, if I do move this uh, image, because it's encrypted, uh, it only gives you these three, uh, these um, s list of options. So at the moment it's image viewer. If I change it, it to this, it encodes it differently. Gives you gobbledygook, uh, text, hex, back to the picture. 
fantastic and then you can make it bigger as I shown you let's close that now on I had a picture of the squirrel I'm gonna delete that uh, which I've just attached to the the file uh, there it is just delete that off your computer so it's not there anymore but it's in your database and it keeps it and you can carry it with you so now if I right click on it um, open the attachment there squirrel and there it is brilliant and um, do another one so um, I've got another file I've got two pictures there let's right click um, let's add another one so uh, advanced attach and now I'm going to attach a file uh, I don't know scan document so let's go up again a word document and a PDF okay you can select two and there it is I don't know what the limit is but you can do quite a few in version 2 but in version 1 you can if you export this and say so let's save this first save right click so you got scanned you can you do scan documents it, it gives you this coding I wouldn't worry about that but, uh, and uh, and this is a word document as you saw when uh, when I attached it so if I double click on it go to advance and uh, it's a word document so you can open it from here right but we'll open it from uh, right click several ways to open it click open and now it says uh, it doesn't open it from there okay so let's close that oh it's opened it it's opened it thinking about it because it's encrypted it's going to do that I'm going to close that right uh, so let's do it properly uh, let's do it from here scan and you can see in the notes I've got a uh, letter document so if I click OK I can click on that doc line or let's do it from here uh, attachment uh, a letter document right click on that it opens it okay now I'm gonna close it and then it says import replace the attachment by the modified temporary file no we don't want that you can if you want but discard changes discard any changes made uh, the temporary file and do not modify the current file so we're gonna keep it as it is so discard the changes and it's, it's still there okay now you can open a PDF voila close the PDF it doesn't save you on the computer see nothing is saved this is Windows 8 and discard changes you still got the file attached see right now um, a picture San Francisco make it bigger fantastic close it minimize so you carry it with you but you can only do one at a time so you could have a passport picture you can have a, a credit card scanned uh, and attach it that way or you can also add another entry and uh, you know you can put a you know your gmail account whatever account you want uh, but as i said if it's a bank account you can put bank cards passwords etc and it's secure okay but when you export it and save it as version one uh, it it only does I'll just show you because I've got few attachments as as you see there are four attachments and I export it as version one to save it on my I don't know there, there we are I'll save it as PNF test database right so it's that path now I'm going to save it it says error because it only supports one entry this file format only supports one attachment per entry so version one only supports one so if you did if you did if I did open it you'll only have one file I don't know which one it would be well, I can test it if you like I'll just do it now uh, let's go back to version one do, 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 do. keep us version one and there it is and the I gave it the test pass password open it minimize that now you've got scan document there because these these were previous entries so ignore those because it's a new database and um, right click it doesn't open the attachment and you can't see it the attachment there okay oh you can it's there 
but you can't click on that link it doesn't create that like like, like it did in version 2 so you can open it from the link clicking on the link you're forced to save it so it's still there so you can save this Hollywood uh, document in that file or another folder let's do it there and then I go back to uh, yeah, it's on the PDF so you can open the PDF once you saved it now it's on your computer so close that one you have to remove it from your computer and then you are you know it's you, you save it you have to f you're forced to save it on your machine but you can't click it on on like the other uh, the other wor uh, version 2 so we'll go back to version 2 pnf that's the test i'm doing click test with the password that you choose to make the database and then you know you're back to so version two, two is very good like that okay now we've done that and um what else is there oh yeah when you export it uh you can then um export it as a c f csv file but if you do an html file custom file customizable you can see the the documents so um it's going to be an html file pnf test so you're exporting all your database entries with the attachments so save click ok and it gives you a preview before you export it before you export it of the entries what they look like so you've got two sample entries which obviously I haven't deleted because when I created the database these are default and then you've got the file entry and scan uh, nothing is in there okay but if I export it save HTML. Uh, it's not there. Oh well, it's not done. Uh, no, it's not done it. So, what did I export? HTML. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. In version one, a bigger one. So it was version one. Okay. So let's go back to version one. Uh, and you got it there so that's the HTML if I open it it says how do you want to open it so if I do try Explorer how do I right click on it choose default program I don't want to make it default because it makes it yeah so I can use Explorer from here so open with Explorer internal Explorer and there it is it's the same way as you saw it in the preview um, yeah so close that one and um, yeah that's how it does file attachments and you can manage them and uh, close this now if you look at my my database um, for this exercise you I've got the um, these are th this is the d actual database I've got which is 28,000 so I've got a lot of entries there I before I did the attachments pre attachment database the size was 586 so there is a bit difference so if you just have passwords and usernames and uh, URLs no attachments you is, is 586 kilobytes obviously it depends on how many entries you have um, and I I'll pause the video and work out how many I have so just pause the video for a minute 